Okay, so we have our hair and it's absolutely beautiful and it's on its own layer so it makes it easier to edit in Blender. We have our hair, our bang layer, our base layer, our braid layer, and our ponytail layer. Everything is all set and we are now ready to export. So you want to turn your attention up here to the top left corner where it says file and you want to hit export which is the second button right here and you'll get this window to pop up and it's asking you uh, a bunch of things so we'll wait for it to load up now this is for if you actually made your character and you want to export it out it's asking you what's the name of the project who's the author of the project uh, the rights of it how will this be distributed uh, do you want to is it allowed for adult content is it allowed for violent content Accept it, accept it, accept it. You don't have to fill any of this out, really. You can just press export, and uh, this button right here is export. You just press export and not fill that out. That's just for if you plan on distributing it and you're one of those people who care about rights, which I don't. So, right now, we're just going to skip all of that noise and just press export. And when you have it, it's going to ask you what do you want to name it. So, we're just going to name it. Actually, let me see something. Okay, all right. We're just going to name it uh, Tutorial Hair and hit OK. And once it's done saving, it'll pop back up to this window. Any minute now. I'll pause it and wait. Sorry, every time I say I'll pause it and wait, it always just pops and goes. See? Like that. See? <laughs> Alright, so once it's done, we can actually close this and come back to it later. So, uh, let's close it and come back to it whenever we want to make some more hair. Close it. There we go. Alright, so now we have it. It's time for us to import it into Blender. But before we can do that, we have to change the format of this file. By default, it saves as .vrm, and we're going to want to change it to .glb. So right-click on your file, hit rename, and you want to change it to .glb. And just make sure it's not GBL, because I've been doing it all night. Yeah, okay. It's GLB. And hit enter. It's going to give you this warning. Just say yes. And cool. You got to make sure that you have the ability to change your extensions or view extensions to change it. Um, so you'll have to go into your Windows folder setting and then change the, uh, click the box that says allow extensions to be seen in order to change your extension. Alright, so once you do that, you have uh, tutorialhair.glb. We can now go back into Blender and import it in. Alright, so Blender is open and we're going to go to File, Import, uh, this right at the bottom, GLTF JSON. <laughs> Go to your desktop, and we're going to look for Tutorial Hair. Alright, so when it comes in, it comes in like this. And it is very intimidating, like all these bone morphs and stuff like that. But don't worry, I'll show you how to handle it. So with our... There we go. So, what we're going to do... Is we're going to get rid of all these morphs because we don't need any of them. We're going to be rigging it to the second life skeleton, so we don't need it rigged to uh, this right here. So what we're going to do is press B and open up the box select. And you're going to select just this edge of lines right here. And it'll highlight everything. And you're just going to press the delete key. It's going to ask you, okay, and you say yes, just delete it. And your avatar is going to face palm on the floor just like that. <laughs> floor plant? plank maybe it's gonna fall on the face and you're gonna press B and delete all the rest of those too okay so now we have it here we need to pick her back up so that we can uh, use her because well we could just export her with face down but that's kind of sad don't you think so we're gonna press A and select it all then we're gonna press R then X 
than 90. And we have her up and about. We don't need the avatar. I mean, you can keep it if you want, but I don't need it. So I'm going to click, since we're focusing on hair, of course. So we're going to just right click on the avatar and press delete and get rid of it. And now we're left with is our hair. So we have our hair and we're just going to press, um, we're going to click on it once to activate the properties and stuff like that. Then we're going to press A and then we're going to press this join key. I think the shortcut for that is control J and that also allows you to do it. Now this is where you can either stop right here or keep following along if you have rigging and stuff because all my second life rigging tools are in my old blender back in 2.72 so I need to export it from here in 7.9 and bring it into 7.2 so this part is purely optional so we have our hair and it's all ready so I'm going to go to file export and I'm going to export it as an OBJ and I'm just going to press selection only and make sure it's there um, put on my desktop I'm just going to name this tutorial hair and save it all right so I'm going to close this blender I mean if you got blender rigging tools here in 7.9 you can stay but I don't so I have to scoot on over <laughs> sorry so scooting on over here to uh, Blender 2.72 I have my blade cat and I'm gonna put this hair on my cat so let's find an empty layer and we're gonna import the hair so file import um, OBJ file tutorial hair hopefully don't crash there we go. So now we have our hair. And we need to turn it around because it's facing the wrong direction. See? So we're going to click on the hair. I'm going to press R, Z, negative, 90, and then you're going to press 9. And it will turn it around. So that's how we get it into Blender. And it's all ready to be rigged. But now we have to do a little bit of tailoring because as you can see... Uh, this hair doesn't quite fit my cat. <laughs> so I will be showing you in the next video how we can edit and shape it so that it works. As well as doing some more fine tuning on the hair to make it um, into what we want it to be. Or at least what I want it to be. So see you in the next video where we begin editing. We're almost done. I promise.